about this, I will kill you. There's a cost to you. Think twice before you continue. Put it on my credit card. Remember me? Pretty sure I do. You know, there's a lot of movies out there that are just insane, incredible, both action-wise, acting-wise, and all, and overall. There's a movie I saw this past weekend that just blew my mind. I've been waiting for it for two years, and it is finally here. Triple Threat, starring two sides of legendary martial arts and action heroes. On one side you have Tony Ja, the Muay Thai master, Iko Oweas, the Salat master, Tiger Hu Chen, an amazing stuntman and kung fu master. And on the other side you have Michael Jai White, who has a giant history of martial arts behind him, Scott Atkins who's just come out of nowhere and has become an even bigger action star than JCVD. And UFC's Michael Bisping, who ironically is going to be something really big real soon in Hollywood, I guarantee it. Triple Threat also stars a lot of other famous people like Selena Jade, Xi Jia Yen, um, Ron Smoonberg, Michael Wong, so many different people. Triple Threat was shot, I think, back in 2017, and uh, it took two years to get released. My guess is they're doing, like, dubbing and other s sensory things for, like, all the, um, international releases and whatnot, and that's why it took too long, so long. Most people that do movie reviews go on for about 20 and 30 minutes, but I'm going to make this short and simple. Triple Threat is the best martial arts and action film I had ever seen in a long time. It's going to be hard to beat this film. All these, do, all these guys do excellent in all their own movies, but it's very rare you get a movie that combines all these people into one film. Triple Threat is one of the best martial art films I've seen in a long time. And Jesse Johnson, you did a great job, bro. I can't wait to see more of your films. Uh, ironically enough, Jesse Johnson has done five movies with Scott Yakins from Pit Fighter, Savage Dog, Death Collector, Yaxnet Man. This, and coming soon, a uh, Vengement. I'm not sure if he's attached to Accent Man too, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't. I mean, he is. And, uh, anyway, um, I can't wait to see what more these guys do in the, um, future. They're not going away anytime soon. If there is a sequel to Triple Threat, I'm anxious to see who these guys will face off against. I think, it, I think it'd be kind of cool if they faced off against the old school um, um Asian martial artists like Don the Dragon Wilson, Philip Ray, and Mark Dukakos, or even maybe Jean-Claude Van Damme, Yolivier 
Grunner or Gary Daniels, but hey, that's just my uh, opinion. If you guys want it, put it out there. And also, this is something that these guys struggle with. Don't download these movies illegally. Don't pirate these films because the only way these movies make money is if you go out and buy them. If you download them or try to get them illegally, they lose money. And when they lose money, they can't do sequels or anything. So if you really want to support these guys, watch the movie the right way by ordering it on demand or online. Don't download it illegal, um, illegally or try to pirate the film. Because that's, hurt, that's not just hurting the film, that's hurting these actors who bust their ass every single day and night making great films for um, all you fans. Well, till next time, this is Nick Lopez Lee from Teen the HF Productions saying, Seize the day and rise to the highest monopoly.